Hello everyone, this is Gary Lyon with NCSI, and today we will be discussing how to create a task here in Incident Management. Tasks are really important for keeping your frontline uh, help desk the point of contact for your customers, but allowing your backend support and other areas within the company to, um, to still perform tasks and, and complete these incidents. So uh, just a quick overview here, what we're going to do is we're here on our home screen, our dashboard, and I'm going to go ahead and click on incident here. We can see that uh, Brian Hoskins has logged a ticket here, and he's requesting uh, some information about his PTO balance. All right, and so we can see here that I'm here in the team of service desk, so this obviously isn't something that I would be able to help uh, Brian out with but we can go ahead and just create a task. So we'll go ahead and click on the task tab here, click new task, and we're gonna give it a summary and we're gonna come over and say PTO request and details and just say Brian Hoskins is seeking PTO hours available. Okay, and we can see the service is HR. It came in that way through our phone system. And our team here, we're gonna go ahead and sign to the HR. And because I don't know who an HR would do this, I'm just gonna go ahead and assign it to HR. It is telling me that the manager here is Todd uh, Diggins. So if we don't hear back from HR at any point in time, we can go ahead and escalate to that manager. So we're gonna go ahead and just hit save. And as we can see here, the system's go ahead, gone ahead and done that. And now we can see that this, this incident has a task associated with it. And it, the number here is escalated up to one. And we're, we've gone ahead and done pretty much everything we need to do. All I would need to do now is the, the front point of contact is change my status from logged to active to let the customer know that we're working on it. And then maybe just as some, some general follow up in here, I will also go ahead and email the customers, just letting them know that we are looking into this. All right, now that we've gone ahead and typed out the email that we're going to go and send to, send to Brian here, we're going to go ahead and hit save. And that email will go ahead and get sent to Brian, letting him know that we are, in fact, looking into this and what we've gone ahead and, and done. So we'll go ahead and pause here. And once we hear back from HR, we'll pick back up and see what's going on. All right, we're back here and we can see now I have a little blue line here on the left-hand side of this incident in my incident dashboard here, which, which notifies me that some additional work or some notes have been added. So let's go ahead and look on this incident and check the notes. And we can see here that uh, our HR task is complete. It was completed by Joe Mayo. And Joe looks to have added a note to the journal here, and it says, Brian currently has 32 hours remaining for the calendar year. So we can go ahead and either call or update the customer. So I am just going to go ahead and place an email to Brian. All right, so we've gone ahead and updated Brian here with the information that we received from Joe. We're going to go ahead and hit save. And now that we've saved that information and we've emailed it to him, we're gonna go ahead and resolve this incident. And so to me, this sounds like it was a documentation request. And we're gonna say asked for details from HR. Okay, and so we've gone ahead and resolved this ticket. As we can also see here, the system has gone ahead and notified Brian that the incident has been resolved. Brian will also have the ability to unresolve it if, in fact, that is not the uh, not the information he's looking for, if he needs anything additional. And that goes ahead and kind of shows how we work through tasks and how tasks can be useful. Again, the, the, prime, the prime reason and the, the 
the prime reason for using tasks is purely just so that we can be that front line of support to our customers and have that unified experience. They're always talking specifically to the to the help desk in our support center here who who is trained on how to deal with how to deal the best with customers. But we can also then go ahead and get additional information and have additional tasks performed for customers uh, in the back end and we're notified and allowed to um, to quickly go ahead and resolve and contact and be that kind of intermediary for our customers. So if you do have any questions, please feel free to let us know. Otherwise, this is Gary Lyon for NCSI and signing off. Have a great day.